My name is John Patty, and I go by Brown. I've had four heart attacks, nine stents, two open heart surgeries. I've died twice, and they brought me back to life. Good Lord said my condo wasn't ready. <laughs> they were praying for me because I had a blockage. They wanted to do an operation because I had 90% block or 80% blockage in my heart, and I didn't want them to do it because they tried killing me the first time they tried doing that, putting in a stent. And then one of them had their son pray for me out in front of the church one night. And this little boy, I don't know his name, Wyatt, came up to me and punched me in my chest and told the devil to get out of that blockage. And I never had that operation. Never had to have the operation. It was all clear. It's gone. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> That's what right it's about. There. Raising up generations. So it doesn't matter if you're the senior pastor or if you are a young child, you know how to live in the power and anointing of God. Yeah. I'm stirred up already. I'm excited. <laughs> Because we're, we, you know, here's the truth. We never stop long enough to celebrate all the things that God is doing. That's accomplished. Through. Marty's already laughing at me. <laughs> he he's like, all right, you hit the, you, there is no hi. I'm Josh. <laughs> this is Kate. It's like, ah! And so, yes, welcome to. Yeah, we get a little time. stirred up and excited with those testimonies even mm -hmm. because we've not stopped and yes i'm kate this is josh mm -hmm. and we are simply walking out what god has destined for us to walk out we found out who we are what his plan was and we walk it out this isn't our vision night this isn't even roots vision night god gave us root he said do it make disciples and we said yes so we're glad that you're here mm -hmm. to find out what he's accomplishing here and what he's accomplishing through root is simply doing that same process in every life that comes across a program, a class, 
with us, a podcast, any of that, that they would understand, be equipped and released into their purpose and plan that God had for them before they were even a twinkle in their mother's eye and not about performing, not about um, figuring out who they are, discovering, no, simply surrendering to who they've already been made and then equipped to be by his power. So that's what Root's all about. And so that last testimony you just saw was our our son mm -hmm. uh, was blown away that nobody had prayed for this man that was told he was going to go into heart surgery that he might not survive. And so we called him out, had him pray for him, and he never got that surgery. Is that because our son is so great? No, that's because the Lord has shown us how his power, his promises are not limited generationally or not limited by age. Mm -hmm. You can't find that in the word. And so we've taken that seriously going forward. We don't limit what age we minister to either. Yeah. And All right. So I really want to jump in and preach off of that, but <laughs> I'm holding back. It's not the night for that. I'm trying. We're so, going to so stay on course. On that, Every, yeah. Somebody can tell us. They're like, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Marty, call us out. If, if, if one of us are monologuing, He's like, I got no the problem. thumbs up. I got double thumbs up on that one. That's good. So why are we having this vision meeting? multiple reasons we want to celebrate what god is already doing and and yes. he is ridiculously expanding roots influence right now yes. it, it's it's wild to be able to even say things like this but the root is rapidly becoming a worldwide ministry that's discipling the kingdom of god to live in christ right and and it's more than just words that we're saying what it's is proven in the things that we're, we're seeing like the website is impacting 68 percent more people than last month yeah. that's ridiculous growth and it's not even just like uh we're reaching a big church and so we're getting all those people no we actually have people logging in and growing spiritually right. from three different continents right now how cool is that? Know, North right? America, Basis. South America, and Europe. We have people and families all logging in to either watch watch the recording of a live class or be part of the live class. Yep. That's huge. That's huge. Really we are. actually we've had more new members this one month than anything in our history since 2019 when we launched Root. We've had more this month join in, and it is exciting yeah. we have people sharing like i can't share the live ah, Try, sorry. you know what you can share it from if you switch to josh richter because oh, yeah. sometimes or facebook root. locks down root, root. Bible academy right. it locks down root it locks down like so if you're on facebook and you want to share it go to josh richter's personal facebook page yeah. and that one still doesn't get blocked Why yeah they would block us it's crazy <laughs> But uh, yes, it's so. but uh, a quick testimony is I we have a senior high coach and she's amazing. Well, we have a student in senior high that lives across seas. She's officially been part of the root program two years. And if you mm -hmm. met this young lady and her entire family and what God has been doing in and through them the last two years is completely changed yeah. simply because they took a step back and said, what has God destined us to do? where are, why are we just living a, the normal life and stamping Christ's name on it? And Root helps people identify that, step back, slow down and go, wait a minute. It's not like I get saved and just keep going and just keep surviving and stamping Jesus mm -hmm. on it. And so their family has literally relocated, um, changed jobs, changed churches, and is now a completely different family than they were For when real. they joined two, I yep. mean, two years ago. In fact, they didn't even believe in healing as a supernatural promise under the, the covenant <laughs> of God and would argue it two years ago. And just through them continuing to attend and the word of God mm -hmm. becoming life and light in their life is totally radically changed them. And they could see themselves as who he created them to be, mm -hmm. not trying to be something in the image of what he thought he they want he wanted them to be. So yep. it's awesome. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't just have the honor of teaching senior high this last week. It's so exciting. It is. And so that's what's happening with rootbible.com. But 
even our podcast, the Root Bible Podcast and the Seven Minute Seed Podcast, Root Bible Podcast is where we teach adults the same things that we've been teaching the kids in their classes yeah. and then show them how to live it out. Yeah. And then we go deeper and uh, we have so much fun to yes. have the scriptures. It's yes. awesome. And the anointing is ridiculous. But anyway, the our podcasts are 10 times the listeners than last month. And last month was bigger, was our biggest month ever. Yeah. Like things keep growing. It's ridiculous growth going on. Actually, Kate just launched her podcast, Seven Minute Seed, not that long ago. 17 and, Minute Seed. Yeah, it should be 17 <laughs> Minute Seed because it's not close to seven <laughs> ever. And uh, we just got an email this week of, of congratulations. You've had a, over a thousand downloads of your podcast this week. And we're like, what? A thousand podcasts download of, of seven minute seed. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. awesome. And it's, so it's an honor. We're excited about that. We're excited about the root book. After way too long of a wait, it feels like is printed and is shipping this week. Woo! Yes. That's celebration right there. Yes. We are so excited about all 226 pages coming out to you all. <laughs> And it is good. Yes. I, I'm not saying that just because I'm biased. I'm saying it because we've it's seen gone. these truths transform lives. Literally. And now this printed form will open the door for it to reach so many more who might not come to an online meeting, especially yeah. one that's daunting, like like Marty joined 21 days in a <laughs> row. And <laughs> we're going to power daunting. through this. It's cheesy. Or, or, or Polly, she, went, she was almost psychotic and did it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's really good and it's powerful information. Now it's in book form. The yeah. first section of it is in book form. And we've started book two. Yeah. But the reason we did it is, listen, the heart was we spent many years trying to figure out what God wanted us to do. Has anyone ever been there? Like you're just like, OK, like I I see this need. I see this need. Right. And it wasn't what he wanted us to do. It's what he wanted us to surrender to. And once we realized that, he wanted us to help other people realize that. And it mm -hmm. was just being fully reliant and attached to the root where you could discover your destiny that existed before you filled this human body. Um, and it's there that when you surrender, you walk out your destiny. The spirit of the Lord hides nothing from you and leads you straight into who it is he's created and equipped you to be. And that's what the book is. It's just getting to the root to accessing everything he's given you as a son, not trying to be it and hoping you gain access. So yeah. check it out. It will be here soon. But that's what it basically is the first seven days of what is our reboot course, which is just helping people reboot from the word of God. What does it really mean to be a born again, new creation? And how does the father show me in his word to live? Because we feel like, like we said when we began, if we don't get these generations, if we don't get people understanding what really took place in salvation and now what's available to them, will we continue to live churchianity? And that is living from the spirit of this world and stamping Christ's name on it. And you see generations stuck in that and confused and being torn apart between, I think I'm a Christian and I think I'm confused and I think I'm this and I think I'm that. And so without that foundation of knowing what really happened, we see a lot of the church falling apart. And the Lord's like, if you're willing, I'm going to take you on a journey of what discipleship really looks like. And we will say, honestly, before mm -hmm. he showed us, we didn't know. It was a big word we threw around and we didn't yeah. know. And now we're just honored to be a part of taking people through that. Mm -hmm. And another aspect that has happened, yeah. not talking about forward talking, but has happened that a lot of you don't know about is that part of our discipleship growth is God through the printing of our root book has opened the door for us to launch Root of Revival Publishing Company. And so we actually have our own publishing company, which yeah. is opening the doors, which I'm super excited about, to be able to print so many fantastic books that have gone out of print and you yeah. can't get them anywhere. Yeah. There's there's some fantastic books that we would love to share with people and you just 
can't get them. Or you go online, you're like, buy this one little book for $128 because <laughs> it's one of the last few ones that are, we're like, what? This is ridiculous. Yeah. There's been some fantastic, amazing, anointed writers in the past hundred years, 200 years, and we can glean so much from them. So we're going to be able to do that. Even, even recent ones like yeah. God's generals for kids should not be a hard book to find. You can't get it. They're going out of print and no one's printing them anymore. Yet this is what a fantastic way to introduce kids to who was Smith Wigglesworth, who was Mary Woodworth right. Edder, who was all the, anyway, so all. And I'm simply saints kicker. that have gone before us. Listen, mm -hmm. Paul was a saint that went before us, right? And many mm -hmm. more are there books written in heaven about. Well, there are also mm -hmm. books written here about their journey of them surrendering and then walking out what God's led them to do by his spirit. So mm -hmm. there's no, it's never too early and it's never too late to start studying that. What else would we do? Right. right? What else mm -hmm. is there to do? If you are a new creation in Christ, well, find out how others learn to surrender and walk out their destinies. Learn how to study the word. Learn who you are in every chance that you have and teach your kids, teach those around you to do the same. Encourage each other in that. Share the stories that you read. This is how we quicken each other. This is how we sharpen each other. This is how we stretch and strengthen each other. And it's like a lost art. And through root, we we choose to stir this back up, this to be a passion for conversations at dinner tables, to be wrapped around the word of God, the saints that have gone before. Our son is currently reading stories from the storyteller. <laughs> no, who's the big book <laughs> series we have? And you want to put them up here. Total twins. No, the green books, the old oh, guy. The old guy. He's an old guy. Um, now that Spurgeon. You yes. Thank you. Spurgeon. He's reading the accounts of Spurgeon's life. And so we talk about that at the dinner table a lot. Why so do why we, does, why, why does nobody know about Spurgeon right. anymore? Why does nobody know about the missionary Reese Howells that single-handedly God used to win World War II? You didn't know that <laughs> because no one knows about it. So anyway, we could keep going. Publishing. Publishing. So we're going to be able to publish these old books that nobody knows anymore to help disciple people and be able to release new content too. Yes. God has been speaking to us about rap. We have book two of the, the reboot series going already. Then there's going to be a book three to wrap it all up. We've God's already been showing us things for both of those that we haven't been putting into our classes so far. And then there's going to be a I'm saved. Now what book? Who's Holy the Holy Spirit. Spirit? I've received the Holy Spirit. Now what book? There's going to be a book on how to what, study my word. How to study my word. What what are the basic Christian living expectations? Right. What is communion? What is baptism? baptism? What is, like all these books? Biblically, God has been putting biblically, what to. is it? Not mm -hmm. based in religion or the way any church does it. D dissected by the word of God so that they will be able to rightly divide with the spirit. What is baptism? What is communion? What is baptism of fire? Right? Why do we attend church? Things like that for I anyone. I went way too long on that. I didn't really intend to do that. <laughs> so also that. through publishing, we hope to stir up those that find out who they are. Listen, this is our true belief. And we wouldn't say this if God didn't tell us between two and three years of those that attend root, no matter their age, they are prepared and ready to be used by God, writing books, writing sermons, teaching classes. They're ready. Mm -hmm. And I know you're probably looking on like, oh, no. Yes. Yes, they are. I guarantee you we've seen it over and over and over again. We've seen the senior high, the junior high, the adults. They're ready. After two to three years in the root program, they know who they are and they don't stop. It's not like they're like, oh, we're done, you know, but okay. they're equipped in knowing who they are, knowing how to surrender to God and allow the spirit of God to lead them into all truth. And so for that reason, it's easy for them to start to be equipped and do it for others. So through the publishing, we hope to offer that as an easier outlet to get people, the children of God published, because what's our goal is to disciple Okay, we're going to win those that are lost, and then we're going to disciple them so they can do the same thing. See, this quickens the return of Jesus. This quickens the amount of people we can reach. It's not just about us. It's not about the greatest pastor you can think of or the most talented evangelist you right. can think of. Thank God for them. 
But in three years, we want those pastors and evangelists flowing out of root like water. Mm -hmm. We want those confident that leave this program or remain in it after two to three years to know who they are and be reaching their community on the level that God has for them to do. Because it's not just up to the five-fold ministry. It never was. And so we were desperate to find a way to break that mold. And then we just surrendered. And he was like, wish you would have done that sooner. <laughs> I feel like you just jumped ahead. You stole my thunder. You're welcome. All right. But this is she does every single time. I'm like, <laughs> we're going to have a big reveal at the end. I, at the beginning. I haven't and even so, seen his oh notes. I haven't seen his notes. All right. It's the Holy so, Spirit's fault. Wrapping the, the Root Publishing book up. We actually now have a online store with a bookstore online bookstore at rootbible.com that just launched this week and there's going to be a ton more content out there but you can go right now and get some like oh yeah with christ in the school of prayer by andrew murray i love this but rachel actually just bought this book uh, I said it. yes about it. it's so good it is ridiculous 31 short chapters that if you really can stay focused I can't <laughs> because he texts me every through. single like highlight There's, from every paragraph. And you can use it as a discipleship <laughs> book for a month, 31 That's chapters, right. 31 days. I get lost and they're not lost, but it's so good. I'm like, I'm totally reading this one again. And then I read it again and then there's new revelation. And so it's amazing. So with Christ in the school of prayer, it yep. main, it even may before be we can publish them, we're starting to contact people to carry content that we trust. So mm -hmm. we plan to only carry content that is safe and that we trust is biblically based mm -hmm. with the absence of personal, limited human insight. Plus, and so you can go out there and find those. Plus, I think it's a small win if instead of going to Amazon to get your books, you guys True come story. to us instead of that. And yes, that's fair. or and anyone else so, you would trust. moving forward. Yes. Where can we go from here? What more can God be doing through Ruth? I, that's what we actually sometimes get to that point. We're like, oh my word, look at how everything is just going. What more could he put more could he do it's ridiculous yeah. but here's where it comes to rubber meets the road god's mandate on root has not ended instead we are just now being propelled into the depths of what god really intends for root to accomplish right, right now i would say even more than ever with the signs of the times and with everything going on there is an urgency for church attendees to be reached and help them understand what is real Christian living. Yes. How do I really have Actually a relationship good. that functions, that yeah. I can hear his voice, that I know what he's saying, that I can operate yeah. in the anointing and the power of God in my everyday life. It's yes. not time for us to just play church anymore. It's time for us to be stirred up, united, and anointed to see the world reached. And that's the second part. Hmm. That Oh, man. Here's the here's where it comes down to. One of the verses I hate the most in the Bible is Matthew 7, 21 through 23. I don't like that. You like that intro? The verse it's, I hate the most. Everyone's like, oh my god. Oh, that's verse is that <laughs> here? I'll I'll read it to you. And I'm gonna tell you why I hate it so much. It says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty miracles in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I want that verse to be true about no one. Right. I want in we can help my it. lifetime, while I am on this earth, while root is in existence, we want that to be true for not a single person that is alive in this world right now. Is that too lofty of a dream? You know what? God's the God of the impossible. And so that's what we want to shut down. People that aren't just going through the motions right. of Christianity, some people that are just doing things and performing and even going so far as prophesying in his name, casting out demons in his name, doing mighty works, but not I've having a real personal relationship with God and knowing what that's about. 
That's why we're doing Root. We want to rescue the lost and see those that are lost even within the church be reached so that they can be who God has created them to be. And why? That brings us to the second thing. God has continued to reinforce in us that his desire is for Root Bible to prepare the body of Christ to lead a great revival to sweep the world. That's what he keeps telling me over and over. And I, I, I was arguing with him one day. It's just God, us. It's you just know, us. it's just <laughs> Pastor Kate and I and a few other coaches. That sounds impossible. He's like, stop saying that. You are a worldwide ministry preparing the entire body of Christ to usher in a revival that sweeps the world. Yeah. Say that. And it made me think of Abraham. He named, renamed Abraham, father of many nations, before it happened. Why? So he would keep saying it. So this is the mandate that we wouldn't just yes. teach people how to have a great relationship with God and be focused on us for and no more, but understand their part in the body to reach the lost, to reflect God well, so yes. that all men can be drawn unto him. Yes. It's time. We don't have that much time left anymore. There are Bible prophecies being fulfilled all the time. And we're we propelling us quickly to the point where the only thing left is the rapture before the big craziness happens. Right. We are so close to that. We can't just diddle around with little things here and there. But we have to dive into what God is saying for his body. And that is to be know him and help others do the same. And that's what Root Bible is doing. And so that's why I'm putting out this goal to you and to us to that by the end of December, we must have 1,000 families being impacted in Root, growing yeah. spiritually in at rootbible.com every single week. Yeah, the Lord told us a long time ago to make it free. And it took us a little while to do that because we left everything to start it. But the Lord said, no, I need to reach people. And then when we were developing coaches and raising them up and giving them the curriculum we had slaved over for free and just asking them to, to teach it and we'll pay them. We're like, Lord, you want us to pay them? He's like, yes, I want you to pay them. And we're like, okay. And it was just about raising up people to know who they are. It wasn't the Josh and Kate show. It wasn't the any coach that we hired show. It was about getting people to step into who they've been created to be, because once they know it, it is so easy to be led by the spirit of God. And so it was breaking that glass ceiling. It was about going, going, no, it is no longer about a ministry, a person. It is about getting people actually rooted in who they are so that they can step out and do the works of the ministry. How quickly we can spread across this globe if you have a majority of people at every age who actually know who they are and whose they are. And because of that, the performing has stopped mm -hmm. and the surrendering has begun. And they, be, and they walk happen. out complete obedience because they're led by the spirit. It's not hard. It's not like I'm obeying. It's like <laughs> wherever you say go, Lord, that's what I do. Whatever you say do, I do. Whatever you say say, I say because I'm yours. And I see it. I see it so clearly. Mm -hmm. And we watch the generations. We watch every. We watch these generations. They see. They see the lies going on right around them because they know the spirit of truth. They know whose they are. They're calling out what adults are ignoring. This generation's calling out by the spirit of God as fallacy, as the spirit of the world, as the father of lies. They see it. They know it. They're just being equipped continuously. They're hungry to know who he really is and that which he's equipped us to live. And, you know, youth are causing fires in their homes. They're stirring up their parents and their parents are reaching out to us. And then we tell them about the adult classes and they start listening to the adult classes and they're forever changed just because nobody ever told them it's not just about your pastor. It's not just about the evangelist who led you to the Lord and you keep living. No, it's about them getting you into the kingdom and you being prepared to go out and do kingdom work. Mm -hmm. Every single one of us. So how how can we get to this number? How can we get to the thousand families a month? It's going to take us doing a few things different. And it can't be that 
Kate and I offer more classes. <laughs> we, we don't have he keeps adding. more time, but yeah, he does keep adding. <laughs> we say yes, and it so, works. What are some things that he's already showing us? One, I'm so excited. We've talked about this forever. I'm so excited. Here it comes. Ready? The Root app will soon be available. You can download our demo version of it yes. right now. Give us honest that feedback. That you can, you can write from that app, join the live classes, watch the pre-recorded classes, watch other videos. You can sow a seed. You can listen to po listen to the podcast, watch the podcast. It's yes. it's awesome and it's ridiculously simple. Yes. Which is opposite of everything I've ever created in my life. <laughs> And so that's true. It's kind of true. So we know and it's so God. <laughs> the root app, if you want to scan it with your uh, phone, let me put it back up there one more time. I can have that link. I'll, actually, you know what? I'll send out that link as an email here as well mm -hmm. to you all to check it out. I'd love your feedback on it because this is the demo version before it goes live on, like where you go to um, the app stores to download the app yeah. there with the root and yeah. all that. So yeah. Before I do that, I'd love to have your feedback on it. Make sure that it's as simple as I think that it is. And that would be amazing. Yeah, That's going to open up the door for a whole lot of people because not everybody wants to go to a website on a laptop to download all this stuff. And so, and remember, our goal with that content is that it won't just be us on there. It will be mm -hmm. our coaches. It will be other trusted teachings that mm -hmm. we can put categorically so people can go and grow in that subject where they're struggling, whether it's how to hear the voice of God or how to study their word. They're yeah. going to be able to go there. So this isn't like, you know, most apps where it will just be us. It is. It will be us and the material that we trust so that it can all be in one place. Yeah, we were going to name it the Josh and Kate show, but no, just kidding. <laughs> No, we weren't. That'd be disgusting. And eventually uh, there will be for kids, for youth, for parents, there will be separate ones uh, for their focus. Yep. And really discussion. And discussion. Well, when they just, we don't want the kids discussing on that's any something app, we were talking you know. through today. So we'd love your feedback on that as well. Because we could actually launch a separate app. So that would be Root Kids app and Root Adult app. And, and Root Teen. Root, root routine teen <laughs> app. Or whatever. So yep. if you think that would be too obnoxious for families, um, let us know. Or if you think the kids and the parents would like to have their own app to find their own content, then let us know. So yeah. the cost for that is about $220 a month. But God's bringing so much increase in. It wouldn't he surprise me if we have covered. new partners soon that will just like, yep, I'm covering that expense. So that's coming up. The other big announcement I don't have a, even a slide for this. We've already did kind of a soft launch with it already. But Root now is going to, is expanding to be the best place to go for online Christian discipleship and courses uh, with many different class options. So instead of just being our Root Bible class that we have each week and taught in a variety of different groups, we're now we're launching the Tuesday night prayer school, basically. Yeah. We just got to rename it prayer school. I didn't want yeah. to rename it prayer school because of the people that, never mind, whatever. Anyway. Tuesday night prayer How school. How to pray. How to actually and pray. That's what we're diving into. What does prayer school look like? What, what does prayer actually look like? How do you actually pray? What are the different types of prayer? What does it mean to prophesy? So we're going through all those and then having a time of prayer. And it's been ridiculously powerful we actually i'm going to show the testimony video at the end here again but we've had people contact us saying mm -hmm. things like we watched your video on prayer and because of that um our we started declaring that same verse that you shared and our kid is healed of eczema like all these things and we're like this is fantastic we didn't even we did not even sit down we're like oh we're gonna pray for you know so and so in this thing. Just equipping and people was, how to pray and they bring the authority to their home in faith. So we're also going to be doing we have an in person right now on Friday night identity school. Blah, 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 identity school. Yeah. And we're gonna expand that so that you can join that online as well. Yes. So it'll be in person or online so that you can join from wherever you are in the world and grow in your identity. 
It has been ridiculous. Marty, yes. I'll, I'll, it's like if we took Reboot 21 days and made it into Reboot 368 <laughs> days. It's really what Literally, it is. Literally, yes. It's, and so we'll get through like a paragraph of our notes, but God just expands it and anoints yeah. it and begins speaking it. And we begin praying over people. And it's, it's awesome. So yeah. that's going to be on Fridays. But it's also not just going to be us. We have other trusted, anointed, Holy mm -hmm. Spirit driven people that are already saying, I'd like my content on there. Yes. So like Becky Fisher, I don't know if you know who Becky Fisher is. She's amazing. She trains churches, families, and kids how to flow in the anointing, like specifics. And it is so powerful. Yeah. And so she's already said, hey, what with your bookstore launch, I want all of my content on your bookstore. Like, okay. And she's, and she's also doing um, some of her trainings. She's like, I want to make you my trainings don't live want to miss that. on or on demand on your site. People can yeah. just sign up and take it for, for there's my, here's my Holy spirit parenting course. I would, or my I Holy would spirit, say whatever she does like what we do with identity. She does with Holy spirit it's really for good. every age really breaks down how his anointing is so real and how mm -hmm. to surrender your natural self to accessing the your spiritual self mm -hmm. with the holy spirit easily it is awesome and she puts it on a level that any age genuinely can do we got pickup space others we got like jim baker some of you know who pastor jim baker is not the sketchy one but the other one <laughs> um pastor jim baker is He's by far hands down I've never, ever, ever heard anyone even come close to his anointing and understanding of how God has designed the body of Christ to prosper and financially impact the world around them. Right. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. And so I just talked to him and he's like, yeah, I want my stuff on your site. And uh, yeah, we're going to make this work. It's, it's ridiculous. It's yes. I, I, I don't I can't even say it. You just got to go look up. It's just but, neat that the Lord is leading us to literally the people who stem from the root, who is Christ in the areas that God is concerned about his children knowing from his viewpoint. Mm -hmm. So that is literally who the Lord is leading us to, to allow their classes to be accessible through root also is because he wants his kids to be secure in these things that they have been insecure in or just have not known for far too long. Mm -hmm. But those are so exciting, but it's not just going to be that because we're actually going to expand root to even go, that's I almost said it weird. That have been, uh, <laughs> it's going to be offering classes that normally don't have anything to do with the Bible. Right. We're there. There we're working on classes right now that will launch by the uh, beginning of the year. We're gonna have piano classes. There'll be on-demand piano theory taught, and then you can do live one-on-one -on -one piano classes from a Christian that will teach you why are we doing this because of what the Word says. Here's the verse of the week. Here's how God anoints it. Everything you put your hand to is blessed. That includes these keys. When you play, you're going to release blessings yeah. and be able to teach them how to how to let release Christ, release anointing in every area. Yeah. And not or just piano, outdoors, but guitar also. Survival, yeah. guitar, video editing, leadership, identity, so and, and there's so much more. It's crazy. All of these things are going to be available on rootbible.com, which goes back to awakening. There's a lot of Christian families that aren't very sold out to Christ yet, but will when they see, you know what? I could have my kid learn piano from a Christian. That'd be that'd be kind of nice. I like that. And all of a sudden, wham, they're encountering the anointing and the power of God oh, in this piano class. And they're yes. like, okay, wait a second. What is this? And yes. they're they're gonna Holy Spirit's gonna drive them to dig in deeper and join in some of these other discipleship classes, which will transform their families, transform their cities, transform their churches. It's going to be awesome. So all of these things, their survival taught by a Christian this is one of those crazy ones. I bet I'm going to check this out. And they get, it's, again, 
here's what God says. Here's what the word says. What's he say da, 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 about da. the land? What's and he say about the seed? What's he say about the leaves? What's he say about the trees? Yes. We even have, we have an, uh, our senior high coach is going to launch a Heroes of the Faith class that yeah. will go all year round and every oh, day. I'll be every registering time she for that one. A class, uh, it will be on a different powerhouse in history, both in, from the Bible and those since the Bible was yeah. written. And she's just good. She's got 52 of them already. She's like, I'm going for at least a year. And she's a dive all about their life choices and what we can learn from the Holy Spirit from their life. It's, it's crazy. I'm so excited. Yeah. Every class will be based in the Bible, based as Christ centered and, and released in the Holy Spirit, anointing. Yeah. So, so, so why? Why is that? Because it all goes back to the root. God reveals to us slowly but surely that every single thing we do, if we pull any of it from the world or the spirit of this world, we're in danger of lukewarm living or deception, which leads to lukewarm living. And living like the world and stamping Christ on it is what causes people to live a life separate from him and think they're fine. Mm -hmm. And we aim to change that one class at a time, literally. So we also have the other giant announcement that we can't say no, yet. No, we got two weeks. We have one other thing we've been working on. I know Holly's like, what? <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. By far, this is the biggest thing that Root has ever taken on. Yes. Financially, in every single area, it's ridiculous. We wanted to have it wrapped up so that we could tell you. Well, tonight. we can't. But we can't tell you yet. So yeah. So please is, be praying into it. Please listen. It is huge. Don't can't geez. tease us like that. I see you. Okay. <laughs> so um, it's amazing. And it is all God. Because I'm telling you, it makes me think when I would read stories about the giants of faith, I just didn't know how to get there. And that's what we help people do is know how to get there. But I would read and they go, you know, God would just bring this across my path and it would just show up. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm like chasing things down and nothing's happening. Well, when you truly surrender, when you are, when you are just Sorry, saying yes me. to him, he genuinely does just bring things across your path that's and that. say, I need you to do this this right here in front of you, something that maybe you tried for a long time, something that you never even thought about maybe, but because his spirit has is leading you to it, he's equipping you for it. He's giving you the vision for it. There's no digging. There's no trying. There's just surrendering and saying yes. Because remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So stop sacrificing, start surrendering, and his spirit will lead you in complete obedience, which through relationship allows things to happen. Mm -hmm. Because your faith is unshaken. The portal is open and heaven comes to earth. And this announcement is huge. And it is going to unlock the next step that is going to make yeah. these things. Um... <laughs> you just can't go. So yes. It, it's it's Romans. What we're really seeing walk out in our life is Romans 12. 1, a lifestyle of surrender leads to holiness, which then opens the door for God to uh, considerate worship to see you yes. enjoying everything that delights his heart. Yes. And that's what uh, John chapter four talks about, that he is actively seeking out those who worship him. Yes. What is worship? What's that mean? Enjoying, participating in everything that delights his heart once you surrender. And so that's what we're seeing things chasing us down yeah. that we're like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. And oh man, this is. It's but we'll ridiculous. tell you. So, anyway. We will tell you, and we will make the announcement in some fun way that glorifies him. However, he and says. And probably by that point, we'll have another big announcement that we can't <laughs> tell you about. And but so, the ball is rolling. People are being discipled and they are stepping in to what God is destined for them to do. And we're on a fast forward pace for that. He yep. needs his his laborers out there in the harvest field. A lot of laborers just didn't know how they didn't know who they were. They weren't equipped, even though they were equipped just because they were deceived into lukewarm living like the world and calling it Christianity because that's what they were taught. We're breaking people out of that mode. They're coming to life, true life and life abundantly. So do you so, have any questions? Wait, wait. If your heart's getting stirred, what do you do? I want to get that. Pray. In. What do you do? First, pray. Declare. Pray that God's perfect will be done. Ask God, 
What's the part that you want me to play in this? We're going to reach a thousand families. And I know yes. God's going to use you all to be part of that. So ask him, what's the part that you want me to play in re having these thousand families discipled to step in and be prepared for the end time revival? Not just to participate, but to lead it. Really quick. What's mm -hmm. that mean? We have many families that their teenager takes a class, their elementary takes a class, their junior higher takes a class, their preschooler takes a class, the parent takes a class. So when we say a thousand families registered, maybe your mind's like, oh, a thousand's not that much. We're talking about a thousand families. So then you multiply that times five right? Mm -hmm. Because families don't just register and their kids not attend the class. This isn't them just showing up for one service. They're coming to classes and getting discipled. We develop homework. We develop parenting tools. We develop things that will bring the anointing to the seed that's been planted so they can live it out, actually live it out in between classes. So I just want you to understand when we say that, that's everyone in the home getting their individual class live face to face with other students of the same age from around the world or other parents or other adults. And then they're going deeper and then they're released in their homes, their communities, their nations to be what God's created them to be through simple surrender, understanding and knowledge that comes by the Holy Spirit and the word of God alone. Mm -hmm. so. so what else could you do? Share and comment on root posts. And when we go live, if you see that little root, uh, root is live alert. If you've already subscribed to our stuff, if you haven't, shame on you. And uh, <laughs> you should, you should do that. But, but the, uh, and, uh, social media is not a big fan mm -hmm. of groups that are discipling. Christian, yeah. And uh, especially so, kids. Although we are not having the reach that we will have, they are already fighting against us like crazy. It's 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 ridiculous. Yeah. And so the only way we can overwhelm that is by having more of you all commenting on our stuff, sharing our stuff, posting our things and um every social media platform yeah. that you discover us on then share it it's yeah it's ridiculous have so, peace that you're sharing gonna, something yeah. that is free and that will help people grow you know so mm -hmm. if you see it out there and share it and comment that's a big deal yep and lastly if god puts on your heart to support financially what root is doing then do it, mm -hmm. it we're a 501 c3 you'll get your giving letter at the end of the year Yep. And if it's a source of spiritual growth for you between Sundays, consider becoming a monthly partner. Yep. And I know there's some people that that is one of their main sources of um, spiritual growth. And they're beginning. We have groups be, or group. Uh, pe we have people beginning to tithe to root yeah. because they don't have a church. That yeah, I was going to say the, to. The, the people that tithe mm -hmm. to root are people that don't have christian churches that are preaching the word around them and after covid that that amount of church dropped off and so literally we have a lot of people that watch um post recordings or whatever mm -hmm. and they also give to root because it is their church they have nowhere else to go even within certain states within our own country where they have no church to attend that is preaching the truth of the word so the lord's just raising mm -hmm. them up in root because they'll start Bible studies in their community. They'll start mm -hmm. churches in their community that's preaching the word. All right. Yep. So anyway, those questions three, now for that. real questions. And then I still want to wrap up with the testimony video because <laughs> I, I like the epic music and it stirs me up. But it's fun to me. God led us to do a he to a testimonies from absolutely everything we're doing from the Root Bible podcast, from the seven minute seed, from our classrooms, yep. from the 21 day or from the reboot. From like every aspect, he's like, here's another testimony. Here's another testimony. Here's yeah. another. And so it was super fun. And so I want to yeah. play that again for you. Okay. At the end, Questions. But Do you all have a link mm -hmm. for a quick video that explains everything you just said? <laughs> if we need to make one. Do you know how long people have asked us for one? Even those, um, because we give our, our bookmarks to evangelists that travel all over. Mm -hmm. And um, they've asked for a video. So you're just reminding us we need to make one. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord just quickened me to even tell you, you don't know what it means when we say we're believing for a thousand families, what that actually means. So that's great. We don't have a quick video yet. 
but we will record one soon. Thank Especially you for reminding us. Sweet studio. Oh, it's coming along. <laughs> We're no longer green screen. We can actually pull books off the shelf. It's not just like a, <laughs> a wall. imaginary green wall. We're growing. Um, so All right. Let's see. Who else? Have, let's see. Have you, you been see? sharing on Twitter? Yes, we have. And I'm horrible at going on Twitter to see who's commenting and reply on it. So yeah. I, if you have been commenting on our Twitter stuff, I apologize. We're terrible at Twitter. It's one of the first things that we will allow somebody else to bless us with as uh, social media support. Yes. And uh, so what, what, what did you guys say about Bible studies? So we have weekly online interactive Bible studies that are live. You can join the live class and for preschool, elementary, junior high, senior high, there's an adult class. There's a mom's class. There's even a class in Spanish, which I think is so cool. And that and one is growing huge. That one's growing. That's we have. That's how we got to our third continent yeah. because we have people from Colombia joining and watching Spanish root. the Spanish root classes yep. every week. So hopefully that's that so answers cool. your question. Um, that's what that meant. So that's and then all of them are recorded so that if you can't join at the live time, you can still have access to what was trained that week, and so yes. all week long you can get that. Yes. Um, you're doing amazing. Thank you. What is a website? Your website and app to share all your social media. You know what? You're right. I don't have any social media links on our app. <laughs> that would probably be smart. Marty's like, why? I don't think about social media ever. We Zero. honestly don't. We hit Never. go live. You know, <laughs> that's really good suggestion. Thank you. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Other thing that we're what is social on, media? Yes. <laughs> what is, that would be what I would say. And that is literally what you would say. Are you willing to um, share why and where you moved to? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, so, that's a miracle in wait, itself. If you I really want to hear, I gotta hit this. Um, we are also taking what we're what we're teaching in root, and we're launching it as church curriculum for preschool, yeah, for again. elementary, and yep. for adult. Yeah. And so we're taking it and. It, we just did, we used to have just an elementary thing and we're revitalizing that, splitting it up so it's valid for every age group yep. and then put it out. So that will be hitting Huge. our website. We've tested a number of times yeah. and it fails every time. It, it's not working yet. <laughs> to get it on but the website. Web we pay the is, web designer and it doesn't is, work yet. And she's phenomenal. She's just figuring it out. Yep. So yep. that is something to look forward to. It would be fantastic. Bible study tools, yes. homeschool, co-op, yes. whatever. And so anyway. Okay, the house, we're... really quick testimony. Um, we sold everything. Everybody knows that, right? We stepped out of the ministry bubble for a time. We still attended church for those that go right into the ditch. We attended church. We still support attending church. We stepped out as ministers for a while. We sold everything except for what we could fit into a pod, which was still too much. And um, we we really lived in basements and in uh, rental uh, homes that, that, that cost nothing. We, we, we were Temporary. navigating Temporary. a very Temporary. tough situation while we were building root and it was building our faith so that we could stand firm on what he already provided, not on what we ourselves could provide. And he could bless us with the ability to create wealth, not us earned wealth and stamp his name on it. And so while he was teaching us how to gain wealth by his hand, by his leading, um, we went through some tough times because we were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> without the Lord, you're stupid. I'm sorry. It's true. For we, everyone out there we, without the uh, Lord, we, we invited, can tell you how not to be stupid. We invited the Lord into almost every aspect, but our finances were up to us to create. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> like, why? Why would you do that? And yes. that's how we live. And so, then he would tell us things like, hey, you have no money. So I want you to, you're living in Minnesota. I want you to apply for this job in Texas. Drive down there on your own dime. Which and, we had no dimes. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> interview at this church, but I don't want you to take the job. So you have to drive all the way back up to Minnesota. And we're yeah. like, and he was trying to teach and, us and what all along the faith way, finances looked like. Supernatural healing miracles, supernatural yep. salvations. It was awesome. Yeah. When we obeyed. And so we don't have time to talk about when it that, wasn't but. dependent on finances. So we lived in two bedroom houses with eight people five six seven, seven. people we, it, we you know we went through quite a and then we, a, a, the a lord house that was supposed to be 
completely demoed because mm -hmm. it wasn't very livable. And mm -hmm. that's where we lived with seven people. It was awesome. <laughs> so it was quite a trip. And people don't hear about this part. But uh, often when you see someone in ministry, so I'm glad that you're asking. So this house came up genuinely supernaturally. And the Lord said, <laughs> this, this will be your home. And um, we were like, in our minds, in our own minds, uh, that's impossible. Hey, Lord, you remember us. And so he said, no, that will be your home, told us exactly how to do it. And here we are. And so we settled in this town. And then that is what's going to lead to our other announcement in two weeks. Is So we settled in this town, <laughs> one street over from the lovely Tara, who is here in class, which when the Lord led us here to look at this house, we're like, it doesn't our friend live close to here? This is how we're bad like, I am we're directionally. I'm looking, I'm like, we're mapping to her house. What the <laughs> and I get Google wrong all the time. So I was like, oh no, I misput it in. <laughs> so yes, mm -hmm. the Lord literally led us here, provided the way, provided the way that we would connect with the man who had this home, who is is starting a church of, of his own somewhere. It's in it's Iowa. such a yeah. it's a glorious story. And it's all and anyone that knows us and anyone that knows any of our story knows it would be impossible to be here without God. And that's how we want our entire story to be. Mm -hmm. It is not Josh and Kate. It is all God. And because you can look on and see that it's him. It's not just words. It's not just us saying, oh, good on it without him. No, it's like literally we are nothing without him and nothing worth doing is worth doing if it's not with him. So thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are, our children are so happy. They're so blessed. And they see ever so clearly that it's impossible without him because they know, because we include them in everything. Not everyone agrees with that or whatever. I don't see that not in the word. You wrap them into prayer. You wrap them into the reality of the blessings of the Lord that lead you to prosper, that lead you to knowledge, wisdom, wealth, understanding. You lead them in that so they can see what life looks like without him and what life looks like with him. So, mm -hmm. yeah, all good right. question. Uh, question, merchandise is all they said. Um, we do have root shirts for those that would like yes. one on our Everybody. site, but we don't. This one, you know what? They discontinued it. Uh, this is, and um, I broke it out to celebrate. This is my I, Adidas Because he didn't want to support and Adidas anymore. I was not going to support Adidas with what they were doing and uh, supporting. And then the company that we get all Order our shirts from, from I told it. them that I will not be using them because of the shirt. And they discontinued the shirt. And so I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wear this as a <laughs> celebration story now. But we still do have root shirts and they are out there. And that does, that helps the ministry, helps get it out there. Um, my favorite one's the one that says, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to have thoughts, have rooted thoughts. If you're going to have opinions, have rooted opinions. So yeah, go out there to, thank you for asking, go out there to the store and, uh, and order up. We just sent out a bunch of hats to kids. We do final reviews to see how the seed has set in classes. And we just sent out a bunch of root hats to those that uh, were victorious in their review. So it's, it's, it's pretty fun. Thanks for asking. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or comments or, Hey, get your social media stuff on your website. Duh. Anyone got <laughs> any of those suggestions? That Marty. would be awesome. Let's see. All right. Wait, Marty's got his hand raised. Oh, yes, please. I just want to start by saying this. I have never felt anyone that's in the unity of the spirit and wants just what God wants. Like I feel it, except from you guys and my prayer partner that I pray with. There's a sense of what that that God knows that we, that you guys want what he wants. And that is amazing. And um, it's, it's no wonder what's going on with, with you guys, because I'm experiencing it here. I'm experiencing that. Uh, and it kind of started, it, it's like the rightly divided word right? It's like, God, what, what's the deal about the rightly divided word? Why do, why do we need it? And it was like he said, I can only confirm my word with signs following. And so 
when I just realized that he looks after his word to perform it, I have been speaking his word to people and knowing that God is just going to lay it open. And there's, there's people that, uh, like we have a celebrate recovery at our church and it's, it's kind of like our discipleship class. It's, it's sad, but that's the way it is. But I take these, you know, it's like they say inside it, we're, we're not supposed to fix people. Right. But I can't help it. I have to go. I take them aside afterwards. And I've had more than one person now go ha, come back next week and share in group. Man, I've had the best week I've ever had just because I did what Marty said, which was what the Holy Spirit was just saying. You know, quit, quit opening your mouth, quit doing being guy, fix it stuff, D- just different, simple things. And uh, but I love it's just like I just feel how this unity of the spirit in the bond of peace is is starting to draw together the truth that is empowering the holy spirit to start to tie the body together in this unity that is going to be phenomenal because he's coming after a glorious church and you guys are a part of that and we we are pulling it together and it is going to be amazing that's all i have i'm done that is awesome that is awesome that's literally that's literally the bottom line is stop the religion Mm -hmm. stop the the um guidelines the the mere human input insight that says we can go here we can't go here and just let god be god start speaking his word stop limiting uh, a process that's one of the things josh and i talk about like god bless the recovery process but recover today let the anointing carry you out today and know that the word of god frees you today right like uh wonderful things that have been set in place that people can be completely free from in a day just by the goodness of God and his word, not his religious wrapped and and altered word, his word by his spirit. That's so good. Thank you for sharing. Um, Rachel. Just, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I, I feel like I have personally grown exponentially just sitting under you guys. And it, I, I find myself running to the computer or to the phone when I see the notification and I'm like, I got to get this in. I've got to get this in. And um, I, I just, what Marty said a hundred percent. And I have one question for you, Kate. (laughs) Um, Have you ever thought of doing like a small group woman's retreat? So uh, that is definitely something I want to pray about because that's one prophetic word that's been spoken over me uh, many, many times is is speaking to women, which if you would have told me that a long time ago, I'd be like, yeah, you know, we can't hear you guys. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> so um, that is definitely something I would be glad to pray about because with what we know, the announcement is in two weeks. That is a very real reality coming soon. Everyone's like rolling their eyes. You see that? They're like, come on. (laughs) We have to we have to honor the Lord and and everyone involved. And it and it is honestly not like a a ploy of any sort to be like, oh, come back in two weeks. You know what I mean? It is definitely you all know yeah. Most of you don't want for those that don't, this is genuinely to honor everyone involved so that um we can make the announcement with with everyone knowing the announcement is being made. So, but if you want to be part of our hundred and ninety nine dollar advance notice, <laughs> you yeah. just oh, this just made me throw up in my mouth. Okay, that stuff is horrible. Patty, right. no, yeah. we She's love you. Go. Well, everybody's got to go. I know, we uh, love you all. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Let us pray over and, uh, you if you'll let yeah. us, and then um, we're just so glad that you're here. Please continue to join us in prayer. Are you aware of her voice? No. But now we'll look into it. Now we'll look it up. Yeah. Her voice. Okay. Father, thank you. God, I thank you that Mm -hmm. you are with us. Not just Kate and I. Not just the root people. They're the root coaches, Lord. But every person that we come in contact with, 
Lord, that sounds crazy to say. Every person that you're with, you're with in power. Yes. That you're with in the fullness of anointing. Lord, I ask that their eyes would be open to the truth of who you have created them to be. Yes. Whether it's through root or through another ministry, I don't care. It's time for your body to be awakened to who they are so that we can walk in the fullness of your wisdom, of your power, of your anointing, of your favor, yes. of all that you are in all that we do, in all that we say. Yes. So, Lord, I ask for, especially for the ones that are watching this, joining us live, both on our site and, and online, yes. Lord, that they would step into the fullness of what you have for them. Even yes. today, Lord, I actually, yes. I'm, pr I pray that you would give them supernatural Meditation. dreams tonight. Yes. That as they rest, that their heart would be awakened to the things that you want them to step into, Beautiful. and that they will wake with a supernatural understanding of what you were communicating to them in their dream times. Yes, I even pray for for confirmation of those things. From their spouse or, or from a, a conversation within the next couple of days. Yes. Now, I honestly, I feel like that's for every person watching this. That sounds ridiculous. Yes. But that's what I, I, I want you. Yeah. This is not me praying now. I want you guys to pay attention because God isn't just opening the doors for Root right now. He's not just opening the doors for Josh and Kate to do a little bit more. He's opened the doors for the body of Christ to step into the yes. fullness of his plan for them yes. and to walk in it, to live in it, not just for them, but for their entire family to step yes. in as a unit to what God yes. has anointed them to do and to Thank say you, and how he wants them to represent him well yeah. in these times. Yeah. And so I thank you, God, that the wisdom of heaven is coming, that those windows are are opening, those doors are opening for us to step into the fullness of everything that you have set apart for us to yes. do and to say and to represent you well. Yes. In Jesus' name, Thanks. a supernatural Thanks. anointing to come on them yes. and yes. not to not and for them Thank to understand that they don't no longer have to waffle back and forth between a little bit of anointing, no anointing, and then being no. anointed at church, but that they can take your anointing into every sphere of influence, into every moment yeah. of every day, that we would live anointed, yes. live in your power, yes. live the revival life that we want to see so that all men can be drawn unto you, Lord, that yes. you would flow through us that your kindness to us would lead others to repentance. Yes. That's what your word says. And so, yes. Lord, I call on you to make that a reality in every one of our lives. Open up yes. our eyes to and our hearts to understand any and every hindrance that would keep yes. us from participating in the fullness of what you have in store for us yes. to walk in today. Thank Lord, you, Lord, let us walk in the fullness of those. Show us the things that would be a blockade so that we can quickly eliminate them with your wisdom and your power yes. so that you can fully walk and live and talk through us as surrendered beings yes. completely to you in yes. full unity with you, in full connection with you, so that it's no longer us trying to put on anointing, but it's us flowing with who you already are in overabundance within us for every situation, for every relationship, for every church, for every Thing that you would send us out to do and to say that yes. your anointing and your presence would invade those areas yes. and lives would be changed. Not just have some cool goosebumps, but Lord, that eternal Forever destinies changed. will be changed simply because yes. we carry you into every environment and release yes. you. Yes, we do Lord. what you do. We yes. say what you say. Yes. We live like Jesus did as our example, completely surrender to you yes. and allowing the Holy Spirit to have his way in our everyday lives. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you're blessing root and that everything we've put our hand to is blessed, but root will impact a thousand families yes. by the end of December and thousands more this next year. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that your anointing is on it. And that you are doing what literally only you could do. You're so good, God. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I see while he was praying that uh, those that are here and listening, there's something he talked about the new, like a greater anointing. So that anointing is already in you. I see like this blockade breaking off that's allowing the anointing to flow out of you it's kind of like in the springtime when every time you go out there's a new leaf there's a new fruit like that's what's all of a sudden going to start happening only with the lord is you will be anointed in everything you do as it expands into every area of your life and you're going to start seeing that fruitfulness just happen kind of like how we just explained it's just coming across it's like it's bursting out of you his anointing in you because what was in the way is out of the way Rivers of living water and life flowing out of you. Yes. Okay. We love you. Guys. All right. Thanks Woo. for being here. It was awesome. Good. Just kind of want to sit here in his presence, but oh I'm going to go ahead God. and let you go to bed. Okay. Bye. Right. Love you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Well, my name is John Patty, and I go by Brown. I've had four heart attacks, nine stents, two open heart surgeries. I've died twice, and they brought me back to life. Good Lord said my condo wasn't ready. <laughs> they were praying for me because I had a blockage. They wanted to do an operation because I had 90% block or 80% blockage in my heart. And I didn't want them to do it because they tried killing me the first time they tried doing that, putting in a stamp. And then one of them had their son pray for me out in front of the church one night. And this little boy, I don't know his name, Wyatt, came up to me and punched me in my chest and told the devil to get out of that blockage. And I never had that operation. Never had to have the operation. It was all clear. It's gone. <laughs>